shadows are real. Um, necessity. Necessity is the mother of invention, right? So I just, I just, uh, must have mated with her this morning. Probably while I was on the toilet. I don't know, I'm not sure when it happened. But, you got a sawmill shed. And most of your sawmill sheds, a lot of them that I see, I a lot of sawdust here, have got a wall right here. And you put the sawmill so you're blowing sawdust right up against the wall. You got a concrete floor and then you're scooping it out with the scoop shovel. Right? Here's my idea for your sawmill boxes. How to get rid of your sawdust from your sawmill shed when you're blowing it against the wall. And the reason I say this is because if I can get uh, 500 subscribers by February, I've got a YouTube viewer who's going to let me use his resaw for some videos. He's going to buy a resaw from Wood Miser. Goes right on here. It'll be a big conveyor belt that goes on here. We'll put the boards on here, and they'll the the head of the sawmill will stay stationary. And you'll resaw. You'll send the boards through here, and they'll come out the other end. I can't do that because at the other end of my mill is a corn crib wall. The way I've got my sawmill shed set up. So. So. I'm just going to be the guy who says so. So I've got to turn my sawmill this way and I'll be blowing sawdust over there and I won't be able to get these out with my tractor. I won't be able to put the forks under here and get them out. So it'll be just like I'm blowing my sawdust up against this wall right here, there's a wall. But what my idea is, we're going to build this box, X wide, I said three feet. Um, and we're gonna put that right up against the wall. So if this sawmill box is right up against your wall, you can build this board here as high as you want and blow sawdust into this box. And it'll fall right into this box. Then, on the end of this box, I'm still gonna have two boxes because I've got to get my sawmill will be set up like this most of the time. So I have two boxes still. So two box ideas are um, still gonna be in, but I'm gonna take, um, cause I don't know what equipment, I don't know, I don't know what equipment you got. You got a forklift, you got a car, you got a compact car, you got a pickup truck, you got a bobcat. I don't know what you got the hallway or sawdust, but I'm going to take this box and I'm going to run a chain, put a chain hook out here, run it all the way through the box, and then I'll put another hook right here, and I'll hook it onto that box, and I'll run it all the way through that box. So this, this wall here, my sawdust box is sitting right up against the wall. Now I can hook onto that chain, and I can pull this box right out that way with my whatever you got, pickup truck or horse, I don't know what you got hook your horses right up to it and pull the, pull the sawdust box out on uh, little skids, little four by four skids and it'll skid right out that way and you haul it to your sawmill pile and you can still shovel it out. You can shovel it out this end and you can shovel it out that end and you're done. You, the sawdust is gone to your sawdust pile. No having to carry a bucket, no having to scoop shovel. Scoop shovel, carry the scoop shovel into a dumpster and all that. You hook up a chain here, pull this box out, hook a chain to that one. You can pull them both out at the same time if you got two horses, <laughs> <coughs> whatever you got. Then you can still, once you get out there, if you have a forklift or you have a bobcat or you have a compact tractor, you can still build your forks on the side to get into the box, pick it up, unhook the chain, and carry it away. 
that's that will be well, when I turn my sawmill sideways when I turn my sawmill sideways I'll still be able to pull boxes right through here I'll be able to pull them out pull them out of the sawmill shed and um, and then pick them up and carry them to the to my sawdust pile pick them up with the forks on the tractor so you it's kind of hard to understand without an actual wall here and what I'm going to do, but I'm going to turn this sawmill and it's going to be facing this way. So all my sawdust is going to be blown over here. My two sawdust boxes will be sitting over here. So I, have, so I can't come in with the tractor from that way because the corn crib's there. I can't come in and get under them with the forks and pick them up. So I'll put a chain on them, hook them together, and I'll pull them out that end. When I get out there, I'll unhook the chain, and I'll drive sideways into this box, pick it up with the forks, and haul it off to my sawmill, or haul it off to my sawdust pile. And that will also allow me to build this board, me. You know, you can build this board however high you want. But this will allow me to build this board a little bit higher. I'm, I'm not going to go up four feet like you could if you had a wall here. You could put a four-foot piece of plywood behind that and then just drag it out. Come in with your forks, pick it up, and still scoop it out. I'm just going to put a little, little wall or a little board on this side, blow my sawdust into it, pull it out the end of the sawmill shed, and then pick it up sideways. What do you think? That's a good idea for getting rid of sawdust. Yeah? I just... Because I've got to figure out a way I can't... My boards are going to be going off that end of the sawmill now with a resaw, every time I resaw. So I'll have to move this mill to resaw. I won't be able to leave it here. So I may have to move it permanently and bring my logs in from here. Move it permanently to that side. Or I may move it back on that side of the pole even and blow my sawdust closer to the um, corn crib like everybody else does. But that'll only be for the resaw. I still want to be able to get these two boxes in here between that post and this post. So I'm still going to build two boxes. Well, plus because my tractor can't pick all that up. And get rid of the sawdust. Man. Like and subscribe for more great ideas. <laughs>